Hello friends. Uh, yeah, you read the title right. Uh, I did it again. So, what is it that I did exactly? This is a Redivis RT21. These are sold as GMRS radios, FRS GMRS radios. Uh, you can also get them in Europe as PMR446 radios or 16 channel uh, 2 watt units just for easy communication and personal sort of usage. I would not call this a high power radio. It's not a UHF VHF radio, nor is it meant to be. Although it does come with a standard push to talk button, you got the one function. Uh, it is programmable via chirp, of course, uh, using a standard K two pin cable. Uh, it comes with an antenna and a cradle, of course, for charging. But what I did again is I actually reprogrammed this radio and I now have five MERS channels and 11 GMRS FRS channels on it. The reason I say again is because I had previously done this with Baofeng 888S's. Uh, I will put a link below to that um, to that video where I did that. And I also have uh, another review that I did on this radio as a GMRS radio. I will also put a link to that one. But it's kind of interesting because now if I've got somebody in we're going somewhere on a trail or something and I want to give them a radio and they're not familiar with how to use a radio I don't want to give them a radio that has frequencies and screens and keypads and confuse them they just use this little radio all you gotta do is just turn it on set it to whatever channel we're working on one two three four five are gonna be MERS channels uh, which are gonna be VHF and then the rest of them are gonna be GMRS I usually just tell them what channel to be on and we turn around and use it quick and easy one thing to consider that's important that is if you're going to make this change, please remember that you have to change the antenna because the antennas that come on these radios are UHF antennas only. They're SMA male connectors, but they're only for UHF, so you would pretty much have to get your own little antenna. That's going to be a dual band antenna so that you can actually connect it and use it for VHF and UHF. Now I've measured this on a power meter and I'm getting about a little under 1 watt in a VHF and a little under 2 watts in UHF. So it's not too bad. It's short range, personal use little radio. It gives you that extra option to have MERS capability without having a MERS specific radio which tend to be a little more expensive and it's a band that pretty much not many people use really. So it's pretty available and makes it easy to play with. Uh, it's a nice looking radio by comparison to the triple eight. It's a little bit more fitting in the hand. Has a nice feel to it. Very standard configuration with 16, One, 16 three, channels and the little four, voice that'll tell you what five, channel you're on. Six, seven. And so on and so forth all the way up to 16. I don't have a belt clip on it. It does come with a belt clip. I bought these actually as a set of multiple radios. I, I got a big box that had like uh, five or six of them in it. So I got a couple programmed uh, with PMR446 bands that I actually currently have uh, in Europe and then uh, I've got some that I use for GMRS and then I was playing around to see if I could actually program this like I did the triple eights and it did work. I actually did put VHF on it. Now I haven't tested it for long range so I don't know what it'll do but for short distances three four miles it's fine. It works just fine in VHF. GMRS is fine. It works on it just fine. FRS is okay. You do get a little bit of range if you have line of sight. Remember, all those frequencies are going to be line of sight. So that's pretty much it on this, and that's what I did again. I just programmed MERS and GMRS on the same radio that's designed only for GMRS. So if you like these little short videos, uh, please be kind to subscribe. You can leave comments if you want to ask questions. Uh, I'll be happy to answer them as soon as I get them. Um, and thanks for watching.